Okay. Thank you for giving me such a nice opportunity to introduce my research. <clears throat> Today, I want to talk about my recent work, Proving Isocurvature Perturbations with 21 centimeter Global Signal. Uh, this is an out outline of this talk. So at first, I introduced uh, different modes of the initial conditions for matter fluctuations, namely adiabatic mode and isocurvature mode. Then I talk about a matter path spectrum induced by these different initial conditions. And I would like to introduce astrophysical models in our calculation of the 21 centimeter global signal. Finally, I talk about the 21 centimeter global signal induced by the isocurvature perturbations and give a constraint on the isocurvature perturbations. This is a schematic picture of the adiabatic perturbations. Uh, the, in the simplest inflation scenario, the single field slow roll inflation predicts the adiabatic perturbations. For the adiabatic perturbations, all the components of fluid are fluctuating in the same way. I mean, their fluctuations have the same phase as this picture, such as the cold dark matter, baryons, photons, neutrinos, and so on. <clears throat> so the total energy density uh, is also fluctuating. And through the Einstein equations, the curvature is also fluctuating, like this flux line. And uh, the, for the pure Einstein adiabatic mode, uh, entropy is uh, conserved. Uh, the ratio of number densities for different two species is constant everywhere. So adiabatic perturbations can explain the CMB anisotropies very well. Uh, but theoretically, uh, there can be another type of perturbation. And this is the isocurvature perturbations. Uh, for example, uh, in the case of this picture, the cold dark matter blue line and the photons for orange line are fluctuating with the opposite phases. And the total energy density fluctuation is cancelled out. And the curvature is also constant. In this case, the uh, entropy fluctuation, so given by the SGDM gamma uh, in this red equation, uh, arises. So the isocurvature perturbations, uh, also called by the entropy perturbation. So in this work, as a simple and uh, convenient form, uh, the adiabatic perturbations and the curvature, isocurvature perturbations are uh, assumed to be treated as the single power law type of power spectrum. So previous measurement of the CMB anisotropies uh, can constrain the adiabatic power spectrum very well. So we fix the parameter for the adiabatic perturbations uh, as these values for AS and NS. And these are given by the latest Planck results. And we consider the parameters for the isocurvature perturbations as free parameters. And for easy comparison between the adiabatic and the isocurvature perturbations, uh, we introduce the RCDM parameter. So this parameter is the ratio between the amplitude of the isocurvature power spectrum and the curvature power spectrum. Uh, in this study, uh, isocurvature power spectrum are simply parameterized by these two parameters, the isocurvature fraction RCDM and the spectral index NISO. So this is the uh, matter power spectrum, including the isocurvature perturbations. The, here, the primordial matter power spectrum, uh, a primordial power spectrum expressed by the Curly P, uh, provided by the previous slide. 
uh, to calculate the metapath spectrum on the left hand side. Uh, we need the transfer functions for adiabatic and the isocurvature modes. So uh, we use the, uh, these formulas for transfer functions. And uh, we calculate the total matter per spectrum for, from adiabatic and isocurvature perturbations. And in this figure, we plot the matter per spectrum for different isocurvature fraction. Uh, the blue solid line is the matter per spectrum from the pure adiabatic mode. And the dotted and the dashed line show the isocurvature fraction uh, perturbations induced uh, matter per spectrum. So in this plot, the isocurvature spectral index is fixed to 3.0. So this is a very blue tilted spectrum. And so the uh, matter per spectrum is significantly amplified on small scales. And now I introduced the calculation of the 21 centimeter signal and the astrophysical models. So we use the uh, public numerical code 21 centimeter fast. And uh, in this astrophysical parameter uh, models, uh, the one of the important parameters is uh, M tan. Yeah. So M tan is the a minimum halo mass to host galaxies. And when the halo mass is below this value, the due to the inefficient cooling or the effect of the stellar feedback, the star formation becomes rapidly suppressed. So M tan is related to the UV luminosity function with respect to the duty cycle as this. And the UV luminosity function depends on the star formation rate as well. And in this model, star formation rate is uh, simply calculated by the typical star formation time scale parameter T star. Additionally, the star formation stellar mass is calculated by the stellar to hero mass ratio. And here the power law index alpha star is free parameter. But uh, F star is uh, uh, the effect of uh, F star on the global signal degenerates with the T star. So uh, in this work, we do not consider the uncertainty of F star. And in this work, we consider different values for these astrophysical parameters. And uh, so alpha star, M tan, and T star, so I explained uh, now. And so the final parameter, Lx, is the efficiency of the X-ray heating. So <clears throat> today, uh, because the time is limited, so I, on, I introduce only the case with the fiducial astrophysical model, as shown in model one here. Uh, these values for astrophysical parameters are obtained by the recent HERA observations. So this is the uh, 21 centimeter global signal uh, for different values for the isocurvature fraction. RCDM. So when the isocurvature fraction is increasing, the matter per spectrum on small scales are amplified more, and the fi uh, fast stars and fast galaxies form earlier. As a result, the Lyman alpha coupling and heating starts at higher redshifts, so the central redshift of the absorption signal set to minimum is increasing as the isocurvature fraction is increasing. Then this is our final result of our work. So, <clears throat> so x-axis is the spectral index and the y-axis is the isocurvature fraction. When the global absorption signal is observed at some redshift, we can put a constraint on the isocurvature, like this two-dimensional parameter space, like the this black 
ソリッドラインズ。そう。ああ、ファイナリー、This is a summary, summary of my talk.Thank、uh, you for listening very much.